welcome back to the video. Today I'm here with Sammy, the one and only. <laughs> I think this is one of the first times, guys, you see us in normal clothing. <laughs> I know, it's so true. We're always in workout apparel together, so this is fun. So today we're going to show some recipes to you guys because we have obviously been doing our live streams over the last few weeks and also you've been following along with a lot of like workouts on the channel. We got a lot of questions from you guys about pre and post workout snacks. Yes, I think it's super important to feel your body before a workout and after. Now I know, Sana, you kind of sometimes eat before workout matters the time. Yeah. So it's really, we kind of made it super light that you could have this first pre-workout little recipe that we made. You could have it before, or if you wanted to even have it later, it's gonna be that perfect amount to not be too heavy for you. Yeah, and I feel some people also ask like, what is better? It's all up to you. Just really feel whatever feels good. I like to work out on an empty stomach. Sammy do likes to eat before to get some energy. I sometimes have a snack. Also, we really, you know, with this whole situation or worldwide situation, we really want to boost our immunity and we need to stay on top of our... Yeah, just add those little extra items in that we can right now to really feel our best plus boost that immune system up. So, immunity boost pre-workout, post-workout snack. So for the pre-workout, we're going to make some turmeric lemon date balls. Very easy and very, very delicious. So what you're going to need is a little food processor. I was just telling Sana, this little food processor is so cute. I have like one of those big ones. This size is like perfect. Yeah, it's amazing if you don't want to make like a lot. Yeah, so I have some dates here. I'm going to take out the pits and then add them into the food processor. I have like a fresh lemon here, which matches my top and I'm just going to use raspberries to get the zest and honestly this is really like essential in this recipe because if you don't add the lemon the turmeric can kind of taste a little bit big this is an amazing thing also to meal prep yes. and just have in your fridge and you can even put it into the freezer for like six months so. yeah i love any type of balls date balls protein balls any types of balls or bars <laughs> <laughs> these are just so easy to make a good amount yeah. Feed your friends, feed your family, all for you. Stick them in the fridge. Oh, that smells so good. It smells good, <laughs> right? We're gonna add cashews. I'm also going to add like a quarter cup of oats to give it like some extra fiber. I'll add some chia seeds. And now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric. And this is really like the immunity boost factor. Turmeric is such an amazing spice. There we go. So there's a little thing you always need to do when you use turmeric is use some pepper. Otherwise your body for some reason doesn't absorb it. So there we go. This is what I love too. These kind of recipes are so easy because you just put it all into one thing, mix it up and then, you know, it's not like this huge ordeal. <laughs> and I'm going to add almost like two tablespoons, a really big one of lemon zest. I'm also going to squeeze half a lemon in there. Ready to mix. Voila! So I would recommend using actually plastic gloves because the turmeric, especially if you've done your nails, the color a yellow can go into your nails. You can also make bars out of this. Be creative. So of course you can also put different kind of toppings. I have some shredded coconut here. Oh, I love coconut. And we're going to roll them in there. Yeah, I feel like turmeric and lemon and coconuts. Just the perfect match. Smells so good. Yeah. Right now I'm obsessed with the air fryer. So anything in the air fryer is like, tastes 10 times better to me. You know that I've never tried it? I've never tried it. Sean, it's so it's good. good. I heard it's very easy to, to make. It's right? so easy to make, but it also just gives it a type of texture that you kind of miss with healthier food sometimes, that like yeah. crispiness from like frying your food. Frying your food, <laughs> So, yeah. you know, putting like anything potato I love, so from sweet potatoes to white potatoes, anything like that, and putting them in there, oh, it's so delicious. So we're gonna do a Q&A afterwards, which we will be following up in our next video. Wow, this. your balls look so pretty white. <laughs> also so another good. tip, clean immediately your kitchen counter because <laughs> this yellow is... No bueno, absolutely. Bueno. And ta-da. Or 
pre-workout snacks are ready. Super, super delicious. Super and easy. Very easy to make. You can just store them into your fridge, have them as a snack or in the morning. Obviously, this is one of the pre-workout snacks. We also want to show you guys a post-workout snack. So what do you normally eat post-workout? It matters my mood. <laughs> I feel like it's either sweet like a pancake or it's something like egg and avocado toast. Yeah. So it or it could go smoothie if I'm like I need to get out the door now. You know. I often have either a smoothie after workout or more like a savory bowl, but I do always make sure to add some kind of protein with eggs or protein powder. Yeah. And today we want to show you guys how to make super healthy, delicious protein pancakes. <laughs> We're adding blueberries in to really get those antioxidants, again for an immunity boost. So Sammy's going to mix all the dry ingredients together and I'm going to mix all the wet ingredients together. So I'm going to take some almond flour. I've tried a lot of pancake mix because I love pancakes so much and these ones are so fluffy, which I really appreciate because a lot of healthier pancakes I feel like stay really flat. Yeah. What do you think about banana pancakes? I love banana pancakes, oh, okay. but I love bananas. If you didn't love bananas, I think they're too mushy. True, so if you're not liking bananas, <laughs> it's a great version. <laughs> I'm going to mix two eggs with a quarter cup of almond milk. I think you can use any kind of plant-based milk. Really up to you. And then I added in the almond flour and then I'm gonna add in some baking soda and then some salt into the dry, about a fourth teaspoon. It's and better to have some like melted coconut oil. That's in there a little. Okay, I see this. And to make it a little bit easier and to make it like super fluffy, we're going to put everything into Friday mix. So I'm gonna shake those eggs a little more. Did you grow up as like a pancake girl or a waffle? Pancakes. There's no waffles in Holland. Oh, there is. No, there? not really. Oh, there is, but not really. It's pancakes. Um, but we wouldn't have pancakes for breakfast. It was more a dinner item. Really? Yeah. And we put cheese in it, ham on it. It was more <laughs> pancakes was for dinner. Like we would never. Me prior coming to the US, I was like, what? Pancakes? No yeah. Way. I That's love that. Idea, stuff. Right? That's so interesting. Yeah. So we mixed the. Um, wet ingredients and the dry ingredients. The consistency of pancakes is super important. So make sure it has a pretty thick, not a runny consistency. If it was runny, I would add more almond flour or something of that sort, because you want it to be kind of a thicker consistency, but not clumpy, just thicker. And to make it real protein pancakes, we're going to add some protein powder to it. This is obviously like optional, but after workout it's really nice. We're going to use this collagen unflavored protein powder. One big scoop. There we go. So this is what it looks like. Again, a really nice consistency going. And we have these like little things. I got these from Amazon to make like perfect pancakes or eggs. So cute. So what you need, what's important to have like a really good non-stick pan. Key for good pancakes. Sammy is more of a pancake master than I am. So I'm gonna have her make them. <laughs> so I'll put that on me. But I will say I've learned the hard way of how to do pancakes. I like to use butter in pancakes. So we're gonna use a vegan butter. I just find that they don't burn as quick or I don't know, it just, they, they just go better with butter. But you could also use a coconut oil spray or whatever you would yeah. like. We're using the Mykonos vegan butter. So in this pan here, we're gonna make like a blueberry compote because we wanna make a blueberry pancake obviously with as many blueberries as possible to get those vitamins and antioxidants. So the only thing what you need is just a cup of frozen, frozen blueberries. And in here, I'm also going to add a tiny bit of maple syrup and you just let this cook until it's soft. That'll be like a really yummy dressing, not only the maple syrup, but adding in that blueberries to just smother the pancakes. So I'm just taking the whole pan, making sure it is all greased up with the vegan butter. Ooh, this 
looks so cute. <laughs> so how long do you do each side? So usually it's like two minutes on each side. Really how you'll be able to tell is it'll start getting little bubbles and that's when you'll kind of know to flip it. So I've made these protein pancakes before with different kind of protein powders and just pay attention. Some of them don't really blend well with the yeah, pancake mix. So I found this collagen one actually, it works really well, but just if it gets super clumpy, you know it might be the protein powder. Moment of truth. So we're going to take the top off. Wow. I mean, these pancakes look really, really good. And the pancakes are ready. They're looking so good. I did like kind of burn Amazing. the edges a little bit. So crispy, but then fluffy in the middle. You're very right. With the vegan butter, it actually works much better. So we're just gonna repeat this process. For some reason, pancakes are, especially when you're making them with healthier ingredients, they're just really like mm. fragile. So I find that I give it a second to let the pan calm down again because the temperatures got really high. So just give it a minute or two. And Tip from the pro. Ta-da! Our pancakes are ready. Ooh, these look amazing. I'm so excited to eat them. Me too. So we actually made double the batch. So I will put the recipe in the description down below as well if you want to make it as whole. I think the <laughs> toppings are always the most fun part. Mm -hmm. Here I have like the blueberry compote, which is always like very delicious. So we have some warm blueberry mix. Yum. Add on here. I'm going to sprinkle some normal blueberries. Maple syrup. Ta da! Four blueberry pancakes already. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> this is not a heavy after workout meal. It actually is going to be super light and fluffy, but get that craving of when you're craving something a little bit sweeter, yeah. plus that immunity boost with the blueberries. Amazing. I really love to have this like in a weekend. I feel like weekends are for pancakes, but obviously you can eat this anytime because it is super, super healthy. In our <laughs> next video, we're going to sit down, enjoy our meal, and we're going to answer some of you guys' questions for a Q&A, which I'm super, super excited about. Me too. But if you have any other questions for us, then please let us know in the comment down below. Don't forget to follow Sammy as well and me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe. Hope we see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.